What's up guys and welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone 2 Season 6 and its latest updates which is this patch reports and its latest small updates that has been released. Now a lot of people actually left me comments in my latest video saying yo dude a new update came out and now my game's completely fucked. Now today I'm going to show you the best settings you can use right now and I'm going to go over short, sweet and simple things for you to just follow. So watch this entire video and you'll be good to go on FPS and I can promise you that right now. Alright let's jump straight into this video. Alright ladies and gentlemen so the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here you're going to open up your file explorer like this and then go to documents and then come over here where it says call of duty go to players and then go to the config file which is options 3.cod22 and then open this with any notepad or any editing software that you can actually type with and then this is what you're going to need to do you're going to please go ahead and copy every single thing i have inside here please go ahead and copy the values that i have inside here as is so you're just going to copy my config file as is and i can promise you ladies and gentlemen that this config file is going to make your game run much much better because i tweak things inside you myself to make my game run better and a lot of people don't know what to do inside the config file themselves they don't know that much about the config file all you're going to need to do is copy my settings that i have inside you so you can just pause my video on this i'm just going to go over something that a lot of people might not understand like this over here so i'll just keep pausing the video for you guys like samsung i have a samsung monitor please don't fucking copy this don't be a moronic person and you have like an lg or a dull monitor which is basically samsung but let's just say a different brand of screen please don't fucking go put samsung here anyways ladies and gentlemen just copy everything I have inside you as is. Please go ahead and do this. I can hear your voice. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, if you copied every single thing inside here as is and you copied most of my settings in here, just obviously don't go ahead and put an RTX 2060 in there if you don't have an RTX 2060. That's just common fucking knowledge, alright? And then this plays a very big role inside this game. It plays a huge role inside this game and I highly recommend that you go ahead and tweak it now at this very moment for Season 6. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I put 8 inside here. It's because I have an 8-core, eight 8-thread eight CPU. It's a 9700K. Now, something I want to mention is this. If you have an Intel CPU, CPU, you're going to put your total cores here and no it's not your e cores and stuff like that it's your total cores that you put inside here please go ahead and do that if you have a ryzen machine or an amd cpu i highly recommend for you to go ahead and half your cores so if you have 12 cores you put six you catch my point okay so whatever your cores are please go ahead and half them and you'll get more performance out of your game you can get to 20 to 25 to 30 percent more performance out of your game and fps increase by just halving your cores when it comes to ryzen and amd you're going to put your total cores inside here if you are an intel user like me now if you have a total cores of let's say 24 you're going to put 16 as the highest value inside here 16 is the highest value so please go ahead and put 16 inside here do not i repeat 
do not put 24 inside here. It will not work. It will just go back to its defaults and you won't increase in FPS or increase in performance. Your game will just run like normal, like dog shit basically. Because the game's unoptimized and fucked. So that's why we have to tweak settings inside the config file. So please go ahead and put your total cores inside here. If you're an Intel user and half your cores if you are a AMD user. Now. You're going to copy the rest of my stuff and I hope that this settings and this config file actually helps you out a lot because this config file is tweaked in my certain way to have competitive advantage over the enemies and also have more smoother gameplay experience like stutter goes away and FPS is increased and my game looks fantastic. All right, let's jump straight into the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here. You're going to right click on your desktop and open up NVIDIA control panel and let NVIDIA control panel open just like this. And you're going to come to adjust image settings with preview and you're going to come inside here. You're going to make sure that use the advanced 3D image settings is ticked and then go to take me there. And it's basically just going to take you to manage 3D settings. Now, all you're going to need to do is copy every single thing I have inside here. You can just pause my video. You're going to obviously select your dedicated graphics card, but for maximum performance, 100 gigs on the shader clash, please go ahead and do this. Please go ahead and do this. This can actually help with stuttering and stuff like that, and it does help in this game. Please go ahead and do that. On, allow, high performance, on, on, and off. And then this is just virtual reality things. You do not need this. If you are a G-Sync user, please go ahead and put it on. A lot of comments has asked me, yo, dude, do I put G-Sync on? Go ahead, you can put it on and try it out see if it actually benefits you if it doesn't benefit you obviously turn it off that's common knowledge but the rest of the settings inside here please go ahead and copy and apply them just click apply your screen might flash a couple of times don't worry about that this is applying the settings for you from here you're going to go to config around physics and make sure that your dedicated gpu is selected not your cpu not auto select your dedicated graphics card is selected please go ahead and select it and say apply from here you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings and come inside here now you might have multiple monitors like me or one monitor or one screen or one display depending on where you're playing your machine on is it a laptop is it a gaming monitor is it a normal monitor is it a tv what is it what are you playing on it's going to depend on what you're going to do inside here right brightness always at 50 percent because this is just your overall brightness for all games not just call of duty this is for all games right now so you keep your brightness at 50 percent you change the brightness inside your games not inside here brightness 50 percent contrast 65 percent gamma at 1.00 where this is default settings and then digital vibrance you're going to go to image 3 pull this all the way down you'll see your screen go black and white and then if you put it to 50 over here you'll see your screen looks washed out your entire windows looks washed out your taskbar looks washed out everything looks washed out so obviously you're going to bump this up to like 65 or 75 or 85 or even 95 like me, 95 is my sweet spot, and it's always been my sweet spot for my gaming when I play games, and this helps and benefits for a lot of games. Currently, I'm playing a lot of Escape from Tarkov, and my grass and trees and everything looks so much better, and just in general, Call of Duty looks so much better. I would rather use this setting over here than use NVIDIA filters, because NVIDIA filters actually decreases your FPS and gives you input latency and makes the game worse than what it already is, since it's an unoptimized game. Please don't use video filters rather use this option over here please go ahead and do that you're just going to apply these settings all right let's jump straight into the next step all right ladies and gentlemen so the next step i highly recommend you go ahead and do is go to the start button over here and go to settings or you could just go to the search button here and type in settings just like this and press enter and come into your windows settings like this you're going to come to gaming and go to xbox game bar make sure you turn this off and have this unchecked go to captures over here and then if you don't use this, please, for the love of fuck, just copy every single thing I have inside here, okay? If you do use this, then it's your own personal preference on what you do inside here. I don't use this. I use my NVIDIA graphics card to record, all right? From here, you're going to go to game mode. Turn game mode on for season six right now and the latest updates, which got released recently. Please go ahead and turn this on. It actually helps the game run much, much better. Go to graphic settings over here and go to hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Please, for the love of fuck, turn this off because if you turn it on it gives you input latency and the game runs worse than what it already is running so please just turn this for the love of fuck off so if you have this on like this and you turn it off it's going to ask you to restart your computer but you're going to restart your computer once you're done watching my video then you're going to restart your computer and then come back into the game and then let me know if your game runs better if these settings actually helped you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to your channel if you're new year all right let's jump into the menu over here and then go to privacy scroll all the way down and come to where it says background apps and turn this the fuck off you're going to go from on 
to off. You do not want Call of Duty to use resources like your RAM, your CPU, and your VRAM usage, so please turn your background apps off. Obviously, you don't want shit to run in the background while you are playing your game. So please go ahead and turn all of these things off. Now, Windows 11 users, it's more complicated. You have to individually disable these things. It's your own personal preference and how to do that. I'm not going to make this video any longer. I want to make this video as short as I can, right? So just disable them individually on Windows 11. Go ahead and Google how to do that. I'm not still going to show you how to do that by Googling and show you how to do that. Just Google how to disable the background apps for Windows 11. You're the one installed Windows 11, not me. I don't like Windows 11. I just don't. I'm going to get a lot of hate comments on my video saying like, yo, dude, no, Windows 11 is the best. Uh -huh. I actually don't give a fuck. I really don't. The only reason why I'll move over to Windows 11 is if I'm forced to move over because Windows 11 gives a lot of problems, all right? If you're one of the lucky people that don't get problems, chuff, chuff, chuff on you. Anyways, I don't give a fuck about Windows 11 and I won't install it until I'm forced to move over to Windows 11. Anyways, we're going to go close out of this and jump straight into the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do is go to the search button over here and type in CMD and then right click on this and then say run as administrator and then say yes to the command prompt and open up this box like this. You can type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then press enter. This can help for a lot of people out there that where the game is crashing or it's crashing to the desktop or black screen errors and stuff like that. What this is going to do for you is it's going to scan your game and it's going to scan your windows and it's going to scan everything on your machine and find if there is any corrupt files on your machine and automatically fix it for you. Now, if you scan through this and it tells you that there's no corrupt files or anything like that, you are good to go. If it tells you that there were corrupt files found, it will automatically fix it for you. And then when once it's done scanning and fixing everything for you, you can just close out of this. All right, let's jump straight into the next step. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so the next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here. Please go ahead and download the latest graphics card drivers for your machine. If you're an NVIDIA user or an AMD user, right now for NVIDIA, it's 537.42, which is the latest driver for NVIDIA graphics cards. Now, I know a lot of people actually comment in my videos down below saying, yo, dude, when I roll back my drivers, I actually get more FPS out of my game. Now, if you're one of those unlucky people where you have to roll back drivers and you can't be on the latest driver because you are losing FPS with the latest driver, unfortunately, then you're just going to have to roll back your driver to the previous version or the one before that. Now, I'm one of the users where I actually use the latest update and I'm perfectly fine with the latest update. Now, please go ahead and update your graphics card drivers. It plays a very big role inside this game. It really does. You need to keep your GPU drivers up to date. Right now, like I said, it's 537.42. Alright, let's jump straight into the next step. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so the next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do is, and this plays a very big role on your machine itself, alright? You're going to go to Start, and go to Settings once again, and come into the Windows Settings box again, and come to Update and Security, and click on Check for Updates. Please go ahead and update your Windows drivers. You really need to do this. It does not matter if you're Windows 11, Windows 10, whatever the case might be, be on the latest drivers and install them. If there's anything that says optional, please go ahead and download and install them as well. It's very important for your machine to have everything up to date. As much as Call of Duty is updating, your Windows needs to stay up to date as well. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm ending off the video like this. What you can do is if you want a more in-depth video on this season and more in-depth settings, settings that you didn't see right now just go to the video on the top right over here click on it and watch it watch it from the beginning to the end and you should be good to go with season six i can promise you that right now now the config file that i went over and i scrolled over please go ahead and copy those settings please go ahead and do that that will benefit you right now for the latest patch report that has been released please go ahead and copy my config file Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel for your new year, and make sure to click on the video at the top right and go ahead and watch it for Season 6. I can tell you right now, it will benefit you a lot. As always, peace.